Hi, this is Group 37. As you can see, these are our team members and our email addresses. Thank you for your time and our presentation starts now. Good morning, everyone. Now it is, it is the presentation of Group 37 and I will talk about executive summary and the introduction. According to this research report, the number of factors that account for the phenomenon. In today's talent requirement market, recruiting companies are paying more and more attention to personal transferable skills, which will cause many graduate students or job seekers to be unable to find a suitable job for them. Many people think one of the most common factors is most college graduates do not realize the importance of personal transferable skills. Another contributing cause is many college students do know what the personal transferable skills are. At the same time, as we all know, corporate applicants hope that graduates or job applicants can have strong personal transfer capabilities so as to better be able to make greater contribution to the company. Personal transferable skills can help improve the quality or ability of an individual's work but they are not the typical nature of individual's occupation. So people with personal transferable skills can become better from the code with the continued development of society. It is gradually agreed that the personal transferable skill has been playing an increasingly important role in people's daily life. Age has brought people a lot of benefits, but has triggered some enormous problems as well. One of the serious troubles facing people at present, at present is the number of people with personal transferable skills is squeezing, which has caused many interviewers to focus on this skill when hiring. Graduated college students and job seekers who are looking for a job must be able to realize the importance of personal transfer skills, which has very views for this group of people who want to find a job that suits them. Having outstanding communication skills and strong personal strengths will make re recruitment spend more in energy on themselves. Having those two abilities will provide, will provide individuals with more concert path operation. This is Fei Tong, and now I'm going to elaborate on our literature review. So based on our preliminary research on our topic, which is mainly focusing on the skill set in hospitality and financial industries, aiming to have a comprehensive understanding on their key features, solid qualifications, and etc. So we may conclude that most of the study on recent graduate requirements of employers may not focus on the qualifications but rather the values workers need. These values involve talents among several other topics such as behavioral traits. In financial industry, it shows new graduate job candidates have concentrated on the skills required by graduates of specific education programs like business, economics, accounting, and the certifications like CFA, CPA are highly preferred. However, in hospitality industry, the most important aspect influencing future hospitality workers' job choices was job experience. Hi, I'm Rania, and I'm going to talk about the recommendation of skill sets. So according to our findings, we could say that the most vital skills that are required and recommended to apply for a job are communication and analytical skills. For number one is communication. So communication is like a key for us to be able to communicate with others and to maintain a good relationship with others. With a clear communication, we could avoid any misunderstandings and miscommunication that later can lead us to a problem. Especially for a hotel manager, they needed the skill the most compared to financial analyst. The second one is analytical skills. This is important to all of those job positions that exist, particularly for a financial analyst. This is basically because from the job title itself it says analyst, so they need 
a higher level and I know that it was killed itself. In addition to the two skills that I have mentioned, the other soft skills such as problem solving skills, strong leadership, and good computer skills are no less important. In conclusion, we can conclude that this review particularly discussed about the essential personal transferable skills in our chosen job positions which in financial and hotel that are based on our data analysis, our communication, analytical problem solving, a strong leadership, and a good computer skills. From all of these skills, a top to recommend skills would be communication and analytical. Based on our research, most companies are more likely to hire new employees based on that person's values, such as their abilities or talents, and also their behaviors. So PTS or soft skills are very, very important for us, especially in the workplace, because it is useful for us to do our job or task and to enhance our quality of relationship with others and also it is essential and required in a decision-making process. With the continuous development of the world economy and the increasingly close communication among the different countries, um, the very large scale of conferences and events will be held in the different regions, which means that there will be a rapid development of the global tourism and the hotel industry. At present, the hotel industry is expanding and the demand for talent in the sector is also increasing. Thousands of international hotel management talents are needed every year. The same is true for the financial sector, which also has a huge demand for talents. So our group um, takes the hotel operation managers and the financial analysts as our object and we list the top five skills that needed by these two jobs so let's look in, let's look at this picture it clearly shows that the top five skills are the communication skill analytical skill problem solving skill uh, excellent leadership and the good computer skill it's easy to find that the communication skill and the analytical skill account for the largest proportion. After all, for the hotel operation managers and the financial analysts, um, they need to respond to the various demands of their clients every day. So the good expression ability can help them express their views more clearly. And uh, on this ability, their Clients would like to trust them and they can have a closer relationship with their clients too. And for the analytical skill, uh, the hotel operation managers need to analyze whether the hotel operation mode is in line with the current development. And they also need to analyze the annual profit and the loss of their hotels. And for the financial analyst, analytical skills is more important for them because they need to analyze the risk of market and they need to guide their clients to have a correct investment. Okay, I will introduce the first rank kind of skills, communication skills. Communication um, is the sharing of information between people within an organization um, that is performed the benefit of organization. People within communication skills can collaborate with others um, in supportive and flexible way. Therefore, it's um, essential to acquire these skills. Uh, meanwhile, um, communication is an essential part of business. In many organizations, the lack of these skills may cause some misunderstandings and failed plans due to uh, language barriers, culture, and different perspectives. Um, conflicts can occur in many um, teams. So, um, team members should exchange their opinions um, and feelings with their partners to find the solutions to solve, um, to solve the problem and achieve their goals. Meanwhile, good communication can also improve employees' self-esteem. Um, self 
Uh, and in different situations, communica uh, good communication can help ease tension and solve problems um, professionally. As employees, people should acquire these skills. There are some uh, suggestions. Firstly, uh, when writing accommodation letters, communication skill ranks the highest among the comp company's expectations. Uh, this includes correct uh, spelling, grammar, information, and so on. Altern um, alternatively, um, people can also um, submit the communication course certificates to show they are um, qualified. Secondly, the ability to express readings and uh, the desire to enter the organization um, is positive. Thirdly, um, people should practice more so that they will not um, be nervous during the interview. Okay, the employees have the ability to investigate potential problems and find out ideal solutions in the times. The skill required the employees to deal with the problem as long as the analytical skills. The employees bearing the analytical skills are able to visualize, articulate, conceptualize, or solve the both complex or uncomplicated problems through the collecting of valuable information and making the better decisions. There is five components of analytical skills. First, com uh, analytical communications and the analytical creativity, critical thinking, data analysis, and research. The analytical communication is including the problem sensitive, active listening, reporting, waving, teamwork, oral communications, writing communication, and conducting the presentations. The analytical creativity is including the budgeting, a brainstorming, collaboration, um, predictive modeling, and so on. Creative thinking is including process management, everything, the big data analysis, and so on. And data analysis is including business analysis, transcends, weakness, and the cost analysis of something like that. Finally, the, uh, the last one's research is including the investigations, data collections, and so on. So, for example, if a, a stock analysis finds the stock he bearings have declined recently, so then he does some the research to find why the stock have declined the various leads, you know, doing some research on the internet or the communicating with the peers through data or information analysis. Finally, he will find that this decline will not, will not last for the long term and it will rebound after one month. So he decided to purchase more stock and achieve that great profit. Transferable skills are one of the most valued skills in many companies and organizations today. Graduates with transferable skills will be more competitive when applying for jobs. Even in different industries, they still have advantages. In the report, employers in the hospitality and financial industries prefer employees with strong communication and analytical skills. They have lower requirements for problem-solving, leadership, and computer skills. When is it easier for an individual to develop this skill? I believe that the university period is the best time to develop this skill. When accumulating professional knowledge, students also need to improve their own abilities through study and social practice. The cooperation between enterprises and schools will also provide more opportunities for students. In the future, enterprises and society will place more emphasis on the professional skills and transferable skills. Therefore, employees should find the intersection of transferable skills and professional skills. In this way, they can become a strong competitor in different industries.